Apostolic Christian Assembly, Perambu Ministries welcomes you for Thought for the Night Devotion. God bless you as you prayerfully listen to this brief devotion. Greetings to you this evening in the ever-faithful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It is God's plan and desire that each one of us have an intimate fellowship with Him to walk with God and as a result we can experience God being wonderful things in our life. We are living in a world that is filled with wickedness. But as God's people, God wants us to have a close walk with Him. My walk with God will determine the blessing that God has in store for me. Many times we are so caught up the physical things of life, but God this evening wants us to give importance to the spiritual things in life so that our lives will be blessed. For a brief devotion this evening, let us read 2 Kings chapter 20 and verse 3. Remember, Lord, how I have walked before you faithfully and with wholehearted devotion and have done that is good in your eyes. We see the faithfulness of King Ezekiah in following God. After his father's wicked reign, he did not follow the footsteps of his father but determined to follow the Lord. Because he determined to follow the Lord, he did not want anything to be an hindrance in him following the Lord God. Pagan altars, idols and temples were destroyed. The bronze serpent that Moses had made in the desert was also destroyed because the people had made it an idol. The temple in Jerusalem, whose doors had been shut by Ezekiah's own father, was cleansed and reopened. To follow God is to accept His Lordship. We must be willing to accept the Lordship of God in our life and the desire to be led by God. God expects each one of us this evening as His children to follow Him 100%. We need to remove everything that will hinder us from following Him. You are the best judge for yourself this evening. You know the one thing that is keeping you back from following God. It may be a secret sin, some selfish desire in your life. When we accept the Lord as our shepherd, guide and master, He will lead us to true peace and true prosperity. In spite of the struggles we may encounter with hardships and enemies, our Lord, our chief shepherd, will keep His watchful eye over us, lovingly doing what is best for each one of us. We need to remember that God is with us in every moment of life. As long as we are following Him, nothing will harm us. We can experience God's peace and comfort when He is leading us. The Lord will keep His watchful eye over us, lovingly doing what is best for each one of us. There will be no lack for us as long as we are following the Lord God. Ezekiah experienced God's presence with him and he was a man who prospered during his reign. God expects each one of us this evening to follow Him faithfully and mindful of the situation and circumstance. We need to check our life daily to see whether we are following the Lord because sometimes or unknowingly we may have drifted away from following God. The very purpose that God has saved each one of us is that we may follow Him wholeheartedly and ultimately be with Him for eternity. The true mark of a faithful follower of Jesus Christ is that He stays where He is unmindful of anything. It's not that I follow Him when life is fine and I'm on the mountaintop. Sometime a little later, down in the valley, I leave off from following the Lord. God wants us this evening to follow Him, unmindful of the situation and circumstances that we may face in life. Sometimes we tell people to follow Jesus Christ and everything will be fine in life. Our needs will be met and we shall be blessed. But primarily, we follow the Lord because we love the Lord God. Have you noticed some people, when everything is fine with them, they say, Oh, what a joy to follow the Lord. When they go through a difficult situation, they will begin to murmur and grumble against God. This is not what God wants from us. He wants us to be consistent in following Him. He wants us to daily follow Him, come what may. Whatever the situation and circumstance may be, I will follow Him, no turning back. He need to remember that our Christian life is not determined by the situation and circumstance, but our devotion to God. We are living in the very last days. Many people will stop following the Lord because they are unable to keep the sound doctrine of Jesus. Think of the people who followed Jesus Christ in the wilderness. They saw His miracles and His wonders. But when he began to preach sound doctrine, they stopped following him. The Bible says in John chapter 6 and verse 16, Many of his disciples, when they had heard this, said, This is an odd saying. Who can hear it? And verse 66, From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Think of the people of Israel. They were always turning back, looking to the past life, and as a result, they were unable to follow the Lord fully, and hence they perished in the wilderness. We need to remember that God has not chosen us to perish, but to follow Him wholeheartedly and to inherit the promise of His blessings. We need to consider this this evening. Just because we have been saved, it doesn't guarantee us of eternal life. 
but we need to remember that we need to follow God every day faithfully. We've seen that wonderful chorus, every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Is it a reality in your life or is it just a song that you sing? When the Lord becomes sweet in your life, then following Him will be a delight. God has called each one of us to follow Him faithfully. How can I follow God faithfully when I have my eyes fixed upon Him? The Bible says, looking unto Jesus, the author and the perfecter of our faith. Fix your eyes upon the Lord your God this evening. And you can follow Him unmindful of your situation, circumstance. It's a real tragedy when we fail to inherit the promised blessing that God has in store for us. Think of the people of Israel whom God redeemed from bondage. But none of them were able to enter the land of promised except for Joshua and Caleb because they followed the Lord faithfully, the child of God. Take a very firm decision this evening that you will follow God faithfully, unmindful of the path that you are going through. Times may be hard, but remember, God is with you in the midst of every difficult situation. May God give us the grace that we will follow Him faithfully and ultimately inherit the promised blessing that He has in store for each one of us, and that is to be with Him for eternity. May God bless you, and may God be with you. Amen.